So this video is about the Juki cutter. So the first thing that we want to do is remove the needle plate with the two screws. That will expose this area here. Now this area in here, um, the needle actually, if you turn it by hand, you'll see that it goes up and down straight through this little loop. There's a little loop of metal. And that loop of metal is actually connected like this to a piece that goes underneath the screw and under here like this. So this is that piece. So the other part that we want to be um, mindful of is this piece here that is under the other screw. And this is the cutting blade. So what happens is the cutting blade needs to be moved to the right. So you move this, the cutter, in this direction. So what you want to do is loosen these two screws slightly, slightly loosen these two screws, and slide this cutting blade over as far to the right as you can. And then while keeping it in place, make note that this piece here, it might move. So make sure that the needle goes right through the center of that loop. And you can just grab hold of it and move it back and forth until it's straight. Then tighten these two screws. So make sure this, this piece here, stays so that the needle goes through the center. And that should um, take care of the threading uh, thread being cut too short. 